diplomats are known to be very eloquent, uh, very good. Of course we are. Speaking. Uh, I pretty much agreed with every single thing you said. I'm like, that's <laughs> absolutely brilliant. The joke is, is that a diplomat can tell somebody to go to hell in such a way that that person will look forward to it. Yes. Are you trained to do that <laughs> since like you were a kid? How, how did you, no. how were you able to do that? No, not at all. Um, you know, I, I like to say to members of my family as well as others, uh, there are more ways of winning an argument than leaving the other person with a sense that he's lost it, which is in a sense the same point. I think you have to do a number of things. You've, you've, first of all, you've got to actually enjoy other people. Secondly, you've got to have a respect for the other person's point of view. Maybe not too much, otherwise you can't make up your mind or you can't distinguish which is right and which is wrong. Um, you've got to have an ability to listen and you've got to understand that the other person has to have something from a negotiation. In my judgment, most negotiations which are 100% successful for one side and zero for the other don't last uh, and cause huge resentment. And almost certainly, um, probably not a real negotiation because one party hasn't understood what's going on. So y you, you have to apply a number of different principles like that to try to ensure that you have an outcome which is, which is mutually acceptable and has a chance of lasting. What happens when diplomats are talking to diplomats, though? Because then I can see a situation where... Oh, then we have great fights. <laughs> is that right? What are those yeah, called? sure. 